Well, folks, welcome to www.bellinghamboatland.com. Licensed, bonded, certified dealer for marine craft that ships globally. We never buy the older stuff, but once in a while we come across a real clean older unit. 1987, 2359 or 2459, I'm not quite sure, 25 foot trophy, Bayliner trophy. It's got the full t hard top, it's radar, all electronics, windless anchor, excellent easy loader, quad brake, tandem galvanized trailer. We just couldn't pass it up for the simple reason of it sat most of its life on the trailer. It's only got 600 original hours and the hull is spotless. That's most of the battle on the older ones. They get bottom paint and sit and moored in a slip. This baby is, the hull is insanely clean. This is actually a cleaner haul than I've seen on a two-year-old boats of uh, this style. Uh, whoever owned it took really good care of it. There's no chips or chunks out of that gel coat. It's immaculate. Now, folks, best part about it, you get a ton of boat, 25-footer, for the price when you're sitting down. About well, 6500 bucks. 6500 bucks for this massive sports fisher, 25 foot, with all the equipment. There it is, last two digits signify year, 1987. Cleanest sports fisher I've seen for the year. And that's the only reason we bought it. Hang on, hard to get up, need both my hands here. Yep, she's gonna come with the downriggers, you betcha. There's a whole bunch of dough right there. So look at the room you got. Just tons and tons of room. We'll start at the front here. They've added on bazillion rocket launchers. So it has the live wells, bait wells. There's no stress cracks in the hull, which is bizarre. I've seen uh, trophies two years old with stress cracks. So this was somebody's lifelong dream, I'm sure. Windless anchor out there. There's the pulpit. Let me go right up to the front here. She's a big boat. It's as big as you can tow on the road, legally, in North America. We're not gonna flash up the radar. It's all there though. We're not gonna turn wrenches on this one because uh, on the older stuff, it was just too much money for us in the shop. So, mechanic special. It does have a couple of manifolds off in the engine, not sure why, but we're not going to go into that. It's too much money for us to go in the shop, so there you go. Exhaust manifolds are off. So plan on a little bit of motor work on that 350 for sure. But even if you can uh, drop a couple grand into it, you're miles ahead of the game. But like this these days, I'll oh, you're 100 grand in this size. So, what did I say, 6,500 bucks? Can't go wrong. The hull's mint. Look at all the stuff on it. 655 hours. Alpine. It's all here. Look at that. Here's your radar. There's all the gauges. More sounders. I mean, that's a late model sounder there. Tons and tons of room. Look at the inside. Sleeping one across the bottom there, one up there. And it's got a big, let me get right in here. They did a great layout on this. Look at this. Huge. Way back there. That's where you put the big guy. It's got to be 10 foot back there. So if you had 10 foot friend, put him there. Anyhow, 25 foot trophy. 6,500 bucks. First come, first serve. Hug her up. Drag her home. Have some fun. She's worth tidying it up based on the hull alone. Hull and gel coat are uh, the best I've seen in my 30 years of doing it. There's just no stress fractures, which you normally see. Stress fractures are for a couple reasons. Um, real hot and cold climates, Arizona, Southern Cal, you'll get them. Um, the next way you get them is the stress. Um, taking it out real, pounding them in hard water and the boats will flex and the gel coat's brittle and they'll crack. 
but there's no cracks. Normally they'll crack all along here. So the hull on this thing is, whoa, as good as you could possibly achieve for this year on the planet. I've seen a bazillion boats and uh, the hulls aren't this good. She's worth putting some time into and money. All right, folks, there you go. I'm not sure even the model. I think it's like a 2359, a, but it's called a 246, I believe. I just don't sell a lot of older stuff, so. Anyways, 25 foot overall length, the Bay Dreamer. Nice, big, hard top, year round. You can use these. Get some cabin heat going and you're good. Great trailer under it. That trailer's. Oh, you're going to spend nowadays for a new one of those. It's about 6,000 bucks. Even the condition, the year it's in, still worth a couple thousand for the trailer alone that comes with the boat. So whole package, 6,500 bucks, that's it. Plug it up, tow her away. You got one heck of a boat. We'll get one more shot from the front here. I haven't washed her up. The gel coat is oh, 10 out of 10 for the year. Got some dirt on it from a 500 mile tow, but I'm not sure if I can get far enough back here. Okay, thanks for watching, folks. She's an 87, 25 foot uh, Bayliner trophy. All the toys on board, lots of money's been put into this boat over the years. Excellent condition on the hull, anyways. Hull and interior, you need to do a little bit of motor work for sure. Plan on putting, uh, well, depends how mechanically inclined you are. But she's all there. Nice big roomy deck. Anyways, give a show. 360-756-6545. If you don't have the 50, 60, 70, 80 grand or even the 20 for a late model sports fisher, maybe this is the way to go. Huge boat. Cheap price. Perfect gel coat. She's worth reviving. We are www.bellinghamboatland.com. 360-756-6545. Shipping and selling globally. Best marine price and product in the industry, we believe. Prove us wrong. Signing off.